This is Twit. Now, you're a space nut, and you must be pretty excited about this whole comet landing business, aren't you? I am. This it's it's really cool. Although this morning there has actually been some interesting developments. So you know, last night, ESA's Philae probe landed on uh, what is it, Comet sixty seven P Churyumov Gerasimenko. I think is how it's you say. Easy for it. you to say. Yeah, well, I have it written down. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So the probe was supposed to land, and it was supposed to fire like a little harpoon into the into the surface of the comet to kind of winch itself and in that and, failed, and right? get secured. And right, and that and that failed. So it bounced a couple of times. And it appears that it's come to rest about a kilometer away from its intended landing target. Um, and the, ex the exact position is really hard to determine because it's very tiny and the comet, in the grand scheme of things, is also very tiny. So the difficulty, all is well. The probe is down, it's functioning, it's communicating, and everything looks good. But it looks like the position the probe is in actually puts it in a lot more shadow than was anticipated in the mission design. Uh, and it's not going to have enough electricity it's not going to be able to generate enough electricity with its solar cells to power all of the experiments that they wanted to do. So right now it's operating on a combo of internal batteries and, uh, and, and solar generation. And the priority of the ESA scientists is to figure out a way to kind of revise the mission profile to work with the reduced power budget that they have. So it's always something. Yeah, it's always something. It's obviously very difficult. It's impossible to pre predict exactly what's going to happen. And I understand oh, that sure. the first bounce, the gravity is so low compared to, say, a planet, that the first bounce, it took a, took them a couple hours to come back down after yeah, that first Yeah, it, it was more than an hour for it to come back down. And I mean, a lot of people don't realize this, this Rosetta mission that this is a part of, this has been in progress for 10 years now. The, the launch vehicle carrying this probe launched 10 years ago, and it's been sort of circling through the, through the solar system on transfer orbits to, to line up and catch the comet. So the fact that it landed, the fact that they were able to bullseye on, on this thing from that long ago and that far away is, is really, really remarkable. Yeah, just to put this in the context of uh, the tech news, this thing was launched several years before either Twitter or the iPhone existed. That's so, correct. Yeah, so it's it's pretty amazing that they got it there at all. It's still in one piece. They'll have a compromised mission to a certain extent, but still, it's it's pretty awesome stuff. The first time any human uh, endeavor has ever landed anything on a comet, uh, as opposed to crashing it into a comet. Yeah.